So now all the destruction's all done. Just about. Just about. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed for now. We managed to get the wall sorted. So obviously all the lentils dried in nice and mm. it's all yeah, secure Yeah, it's a lot now. better, a lot safer. I'm, I'm happy it's done yes. safer. And a lot of years we're saying about reinstating the window. Obviously we'd love to, but there's a couple of problems with that. So one, it's way out of our building. Capabilities. Yeah. It's way out of our price range. It's way out of our time scale. It's... Yeah. And then the other thing, mm. like sort of aesthetic, reason is mm. it's so close to the fireplace so yeah. it's going to look so strange and it's going to be such a waste of space having a window yeah that's so close to the fireplace it's literally about that well it's probably about that far away from yeah, what the fireplace it's just, it, it's not i mean it's it's good in theory it would be good in theory and probably at the time when the chateau was first built but at the way it is now it just wouldn't work at all no and then after that it's what do we do with the wood paneling so because wood panelling is designed just to fill a whole wall, yeah. so then we'd have to rejig it all to try and create a window in it. So no, it's not going to happen, unfortunately. <laughs> no, but this room has a south-facing window anyway. It's very, very light in here anyway. Yeah. isn't it? So that's going to get a, a lot of light. Obviously, we're in the middle of winter at the minute, so mm. that's why it's cold, cold and dark <laughs> and stuff. During summer, it'll be beautiful. Yeah. So back to today's work. Uh. We are. Putting the panels back on now um, that we've all took off and broke. Broke, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. You broke it. <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> so we need to get them back on. But me being me, I've decided to flip them to put them back on. So the square panel that was originally at the top is now going to be in the middle. In the middle. Yes. And the reason being for that is so when we create the mouldings for this room, it gives us a full length, well, a bigger panel on the top section. Yeah, it does look better. Now you, we've done a few and it looks better. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, tried it out. Tried yeah. the mouldings on the different ones. Yeah, to see what it's going to look like. Mm. So we just need to get those, well, adjust them, get them on the wall, get them secured and make sure it looks okay. okay. Because we've only sort of tried it in place. Yeah. And then that gives us obviously the scope further down the line to put these nice elaborate mouldings. The better mould, yeah, because yeah. they're the bigger, aren't they? Yeah, to fill the panels. Mm -hmm. So we'll get to it. Mm -hmm. We are going to be putting insulation on, obviously, because we've only got a gap of probably about 10, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> on some it is a mil, 10 mil at most. Mm -hmm. We can't put full insulation on, so we're just going to be putting the foil bubble wrap insulation on just to. Yeah, I mean, we found that worked well in the 400 salon. Yeah, it's it brilliant. worked really well, hasn't it? So it does good. It, it's enough for what we need. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get that staple done, get the boards in place, and then go from there. Okay. Come on then. Let's go. Okay, you go. Yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say try. Just come out when the will be terrible, it's just twitching. You sure? Yeah. Are you alright? I'm on the ladders. Yeah. We're just going straight down the floor. Yeah. I'm going to go slightly to you just because I've got more space here. Oh, 
I'll get that last bit of semen off. Oh no, this needs a pull. It's a lamb. So go and 
that one. And this is supposed to pull it out. So we've got some of the panels on, haven't we mum? We have. Yeah. So we've got the fake place one back on and we've got this whole section because we had to take the whole lot off. Reason being is we've decided to flip the panels. <laughs> so as you'll see now, the larger section is on the top and the smaller section is on the bottom. We still need to do that side and we still need to finish off the whole rest of it. <laughs> but we've had a bit of a headache with sort of panelling. Mm. Um, for the parts that are missing and damaged so it's been a bit of a mind game of working out what panels we can use and how to piece them together and what we can do with it so we think we've got it sorted but that's going to take quite a few days to, to piece together so while we've got this section we thought we'd go through what we're actually doing so a bit of a mood board for you so mm. we can show you colour schemes and styles and why we're we're doing what we're doing really with changing the panels and stuff like that. Why you've turned the room upside down, you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Why it's just all over the place. <laughs> so, we're in one of the bedrooms for what will be the 401 suite. And this one we'll call in the red bedroom. Mm -hmm. Reason being is because it's going to be red. So, the idea is, is that we've got this really deep red. If you can get in the camera, I'll yeah. do some close-ups. And I know a lot of these are going to like red, but we want something that's going to be really sort of powerful mm -hmm. and elegant, mm -hmm. and especially with gold. Because this is a big, nice room, this one. Yeah. It's a yeah. lovely room. And like we said, obviously, it's south-facing, mm. so we get a lot of light in here. Yeah. So we're going to have a lot of gold in here. Mm -hmm. So this is, we've just sprayed this just to give you an idea, but all of the trim that we're going to do in here is going to be gold-leafed. Yeah. So we're going to be using some of the same moldings that we used in the 400 bedroom, we're going to reuse in this one. And that's going to be the bottom trim for these panels. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a frame around it inside the panel. And then when it gets to the top, we have got... This is the whole reason we've had to actually flip the room yes. is because <laughs> of this one single one single molding <laughs> so <laughs> this is the molding that we've got and that's going to go at the very top and it's all going to be gold leafed yeah and that'll come off from the side and then come on to this trim which will come around there and then on at the bottom there yeah and then on these panels we'll have the same trim coming around which will just be obviously the Exactly the same as what we've got in the 400, mm -hmm. but obviously it's just going to be in here. Are you gold leaf in the little trim as well? So yeah. everything will be gold leafed? Yeah, so everything. all of the little crosses where Didn't we painted mean. them on the other side, yeah. these will be gold leafed. Mm -hmm. So we will have to gold leaf 
the crosses when they're in place. Yes. Yeah. So we have to sand them and fill them. Yes, that's right. But the big ones like this will be gold leaf in beforehand. Yeah. And we can stick them on. Just stick them on. But like I said, the, this one's stunning, isn't it? It is. It, it, it's, uh, Terry will show you some close-ups of it. Yeah. Um, but it really is amazing. We did try it on the smaller panel, but it, it was just too big. So this is the reason why you've got the bigger panels on the top now. Yeah. If you look um, up to this wall, we haven't actually mm -hmm. done yet. Yeah. So over this That's side, right. mm -hmm. you can see obviously the original design for yeah. it. So it just wouldn't have worked with any of the mouldings. We no. would just have to leave it like that. No. And it would have been just too boring, really. So doing it the way we're doing it, mm -hmm. it still looks good. And then it gives us the height to go right the way up there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's good. So that's a cool scheme for any, yeah? That's it. You can see them. Yeah. So we've got the nice deep lovely. red, yeah. all the gold, and all of the mouldings. Yeah. So we will go into the salon, and we'll show you what we're going to be try like doing in the salon. Excellent. And then, so we're in the salon. Paula's been a busy bee in here. She's managed to strip off all of the paint. Yep. So it looks completely different. It's even. a bit shabby chic, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As, when she was doing it, I said it reminds me of, um, I thought it was Van Gogh. Yep. His house, he had this sort of paintwork, but I'm sure she said it was... Uh, the other one, oh God, I forgot the name of it now as well. Um, uh, Monet. Monet, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So let us know, because I can't remember if it was Van Gogh or Monet that had this sort of... <laughs> Work. But we're not having that, are we, Terry? Well, you know. <laughs> no. No, we're not. <laughs> so, the plan in here, it's going to be like a very soft, elegant, relaxing um, room. Quite French. Mm -hmm. Well, very French. Very French. Yeah. Um, they're all going to be a French style, so they're going to be, again, a mixture of Louis XV and Louis XVI styles. Um, just, obviously, different takes on them. So, in here... You might have seen when we were doing the panelling that there was about 50 million paint samples. <laughs> that's because me and mum had been mixing different samples <laughs> together to create. Literally, it was like down to the exact colour that we wanted, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So we've came up with this one, which is very soft grey with a very subtle hint of lavender in it. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the whole sort of scheme in here. It's going to be like a soft grey and lavender theme. So we're mm -hmm. going to have fresh lavender plants. We've got the um, the uh, like dark purple sofa, haven't we? Yeah, the Louis that's lovely. Sofa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like a, a prune colour, isn't it? Yeah. So that's really nice. So that's going to be like the darkest thing in here, it really, isn't it? It's going to be the, 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 setting. the setting. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll obviously help with the colour. And then the wallpaper we've got is this beautiful, it's like mm -hmm. free, it's like fabric, isn't it's, it? It is lovely, yeah. You, you probably won't get a good idea on of camera it. of how nice it actually is. Yeah. So what we're going to do, the idea is, is all of these big panels, is they're going to have wallpaper on them. Mm -hmm. so they're going to be wallpapered in the centre of them. And then the top part, we're going to create our own sort of... Um, like moulding, mm -hmm. which is going to have an arched top and just come a tiny bit down the sides. So it creates a different sort of um, style and feeling from the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. So the big ones will have wallpaper with an arched top. The little ones will be square, which is the square top. Yeah. And then the smallest trim here will all be gold. Mm -hmm. It's had a bit of gold in. Painted or leafed? Probably painted because we're not wanting That's it. That's a relief. <laughs> yeah. We're not wanting it too overpowering here. No. In the bedroom, we want it, like, it needs to be wow. Yeah. Where in here, it needs to be a lot softer. Like, softer and subtle. So, yeah, that's the idea for them too. Yeah, I love them colours. I love I love the idea of being sort of uh, all lavendery and everything in here. And, you know, I think it's just about everyone's favourite plant and colour and everything. So... Yeah. To sit in here with that, it's lovely. just going to be amazing. And with this one, obviously, this is going to be a salon for four people because this yeah. is going to be a suite with two bedrooms. We're going to have obviously the sofa and two armchairs, but then we're going to create a window seat as well, yeah, which, which you can actually yeah. sit and use, which will be yeah. brilliant. And then the main thing, oh yes, these are is tremendous. The wall sconces that we've got for here. Mm -hmm. 
They're beautiful. Terry will, again, give you some close-ups of them because I'm not very good. <laughs> um, but I know they might seem a bit overpowering. No. But everything else is going to be so soft and subtle. Yeah. And we're just wanting to, to just sort of like bring it together. Yeah, I love them. So mm -hmm. we've got four of them. Mm -hmm. And the final thing we've got for this room, mm -hmm. because we've rearranged all the panelling, we've managed to pick <laughs> up a beautiful marble fireplace. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So I forgot about that. We're going to have to sort of take up the floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which you do. Yeah. And... Um, fit in the fireplace and then mm -hmm. relay the floor because the floor's in really bad condition. Yeah. So Terry will give you a little shot of the fireplace that you've bought. It is in bits at the minute, but yeah, you can do a couple of shots, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let us know what you think to them. Like I said, that's gonna be the colour scheme for in here. I love them. And then the bedroom, it. we're still playing on that, but mm -hmm. that's gonna be very Marie Antoinette style. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be very nice as well. Mm -hmm. So Hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, giving you an idea. I don't normally do mood boards or anything like that. It's all just in my head. So this is the first time that I've sort of pieced bits of it together to give Mama Nash an idea and <laughs> all of you an idea, really. Yeah, of what goes on in your head. <laughs> yeah, because I'm coming up with these things and Mama Nash think I'm crazy and I probably will. I think at first everyone thought I was crazy on YouTube. Yeah. But now they're getting to, to know yep. what I'm like. And I know a lot of you are going to say, no, don't do this and don't do that. But yeah. just just give us time and yeah. it will gel together. I yep. promise you it will gel together with the furniture that we've got yeah. and the style that we want them to go with. I understand now. At first I was like, oh dear. <laughs> I do understand now. And yeah. Now and again I'll say to Terry, look, I don't understand what you're doing. No. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So like I said, it's, it's all, I can't believe how fast this is coming along. So it's, it is going to start moving quickly and we're going to start getting people over in the next next couple of months, aren't uh, yeah. we? Yeah, 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 definitely. So we want to get as much done as we can mm -hmm. so that when people come over they can help with ceilings, panelling, stuff like that. Yep. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed our little bits of work and... Chat. Chatty mood boards. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe because it massively helps us and we will see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.